arise and take over because God wants every woman to take charge of their circumstances. God wants every woman, you know, to excel, you know, to thrive in everything that they do. Good morning and welcome Mamalungi to the Women of Divine Connections conference. Um, I'd like to ask, as an organizer of this conference, what inspired the theme of Arise and Take Over for this year's conference? Okay. Good morning. Thank you for having me. It's such an honor and a blessing to be here. And we thank God uh, for this opportunity and this privilege. What inspired the conference is women. God loves women. God has women in his heart. You know, in the Bible, we see our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ doing so much to save women. We see him not condemning women. I'm reminded of a woman that was caught in the act of adultery. The Lord Jesus Christ did not condemn the woman. When the community wanted to stone the woman to death, the Lord Jesus Christ said, I do not condemn you. And um, he saved the woman. And the woman went away and her life was saved. She went away with hope. She went away with salvation. She went away with restoration. And as women, we go through so much in life. Our communities are not so kind to women. And so this conference was to motivate women, to inspire women that have gone through so much adversity, that have gone through difficult situations and circumstances, to arise above their circumstances, to arise above the situations that they've gone through, because God is on their side, because God loves them, because God does not condemn them, God does not judge them, God loves them and wants to save them. And so we came up with the theme, Arise and Take Over, because God wants every woman to take charge of their circumstances. God wants every woman, you know, to excel, you know, to thrive in everything that they do. And so this was the, the vision uh, uh, um, that we had uh, for the conference to say, it doesn't matter what you have gone through, you might have been rejected, abund abandoned as a woman, but you can't hold on to that rejection. You can't hold on to that abandonment. You need to arise because God has got great plans. You know, in Jeremiah 29 verse 11 says, God has good plans for us and God has good plans for every woman, you know, despite um, the adversity and the difficulties that they've gone through, you know. So this conference really was to inspire and to motivate women to arise above their situations, you know, to embrace the good things that God has prepared and, and destined for them, to walk in authority and to walk in the dominion that God has uh, created them for, you know, because God wants us to do great and mighty things. You know, as women, we are not limited. Uh, we shouldn't be limited by our gender. You know, um, we are given uh, opportunities to thrive in the marketplace, you know, in every sphere of influence. And so the, the theme really was to say, it doesn't matter if you don't have an education, you can rise above that situation. You can still do something with your hands, you know, and make the most out of it. You know, um, it was just to motivate women to rebrand themselves, reposition themselves, you know, to identify and to rediscover the best version of themselves. Thank you. Mm. And Mama Lungi, how do you see this conference empowering women on their spiritual journey mm. and also in their financial journey, in their career? How do you see it empowering them? Mm -hmm. So first and foremost, I think what this conference seeks to do is to change the mi mindset of women because everything is controlled by the mind. You know, what you think determines what you speak and what you speak determines what you do. 
and what you do becomes your habit and eventually your destiny. And so this conference seeks to change the mindset of women to that of excelling, to that of you know, a world of opportunities, a world of possibilities, and also to say to women that, you know, yes, it's good to pray. We have been praying. We, in this ministry, we have a lot of engagements, you know, around prayer. We have morning prayers. You know, we go to the prayer mountain to pray. But also after you have prayed, you need to go out and do something, you know, because the Bible says that faith without works is dead. So this conference seeks to say to women, yes, you have prayed, you have fasted, you have believed. After you have believed, go out, step out in faith and in confidence and do something because God has opened doors for you through your prayers. So it's your time now to act, to do your part, you know, to step out in confidence and believe God to connect you divinely to your destiny helpers. And so we hope that this conference will, you know, um, elevate uh, our women you know, to believe in themselves, to believe in their potentials, to believe that each and every one of them has got something on the inside of them, that each and every one of them is not ordinary, but they, are, they serve an extraordinary God. So whatsoever ordinary they have, God can make it extraordinary. We want women to believe themselves, believe in a greater God who also desires for them to succeed and to excel in everything that they do. Amen. Mm. And how can particip participants continue the momentum of Arise and take over after this conference? Mm. You Arise, you maintain and sustain your level, your new level of glory by prayer, you know, by the Word of God. You cannot live outside of the Word of God. God has given us weapons as Christians. He's given us weapons of prayer, He's given us a weapon of his word. He's given us a weapon of relationships. You know, we are women of divine connections. So that means that our strength as the ministry, as the women's ministry, is connections, is relationships. You know, you cannot do it on your own. You know, in the Bible, we see Elizabeth being connected to Mary. You know, we see Elijah connected to Elisha. We see David connected uh, to Jonathan. And it was in those, Naomi and Ruth, and it was in those relationships that they were strengthened, that they discovered themselves, that they were preserved. And so women must have someone that they connected, that they connected to. You know, they must connect to this ministry. They must connect first and foremost to God, the Father, God the, Holy, God the Son and God the Holy Spirit, but also have a sister that you can count on, you know, that you can share. Uh, problems with you know someone that you can uh, that can encourage you someone that can exhort you someone that can speak life to you you know because there are times when you are going through stuff and you need to talk to someone and you need someone to you know shared uh, to share a scripture with you to pray over you and so women can sustain what they have received today the elevation the upliftment by prayer by the Word of God remaining in the presence of God and also by having godly relationships, you know, that um, will motivate and inspire them. And how has this organizing this conference um, impacted you personally? Mm. Wow. Um, it's never easy um, to organize for any event, um, but it's never about one person. It's about a team. You never succeed on your own, but we rely on, um, you know, on each other. Uh, we have the president of the Women of Divine Connections, and we also have uh, the leaders uh, in the various group that are in the committee. All of these people were very instrumental in organizing. You know, everyone in the team brings a strength you know, uh, brings a strength that helps to elevate uh, the team. And so we count on each other, we count on each other's strengths because we realize that together we can go far as a team. So um, organizing an event of this magnitude teaches you to trust 
your sisters and to also, you know, count on them and um, also realizing that it's not about you, you know, it's about Christ. You know that Christ is the center, Christ is the beginning and he is the e uh, end of it, you know, and also these events most importantly are to reconnect women back to God, you know. Uh, we're hoping that women also that are backslidden, women that are discouraged, um, women that have lost hope, you know, women that had stopped praying, once again start praying, you know, they, they are revived, their faith is, is, is revived. So when we do this, when we do the planning, we are doing it prayerfully uh, with the intent of reconnecting women back to their maker. Um, so after this conference, where, where does, where, what's the next step for the Women of Divine Connections? Okay. So as the women's ministry, we have a lot of activities, right? Uh, most of them, are, like I said earlier, are centered uh, around prayer. But we had, at the beginning of the year, uh, put up um, a calendar of activities for ourselves. So we almost reaching the end of the year. Um, I think our final event for the year will be uh, doing some charity work. As you saw already in the conference that we're going to be sharing um, some food hampers and food items to the elderly um, that came to, um, you know, be part of the, of, of the conference. So we have um, another charity event um, towards the end of the year just to appreciate, to reach out um, to the women uh, that are lost, um, you know, uh, women that um, uh, can't afford, um, you know, the, the basics mm. so we'll be basically um, collecting food items and we'll be reaching out um, to those homes uh, you know that have um, abundant uh, women as well as children mm. we thank you so much mama Lungi, for joining thank us you. and pushing your wise, your wise words mm. and we hope that this organization shall impact us and you and may you remain blessed in jesus name amen, amen. thank you so much for your time thank you. jesus you can do better than that. You are not clapping for me, but you are the clapping for the giver of life. You are clapping for your Redeemer, for our Savior, our Healer, our Deliverer. Amen. He is worthy of all the honor. He is worthy of all the glory. Today is not about us. It is about the King of Kings. We are here gathered because of the one who gave us life. Amen. The preserver of life. The one who watches over us. The one who's got the best interest at heart for us. Amen. So I want you to lift up your hands and begin to worship him. And begin to exalt his name. And begin to magnify his name for all the wonderful things that he has done in your life. He has been with you you from January until September. That is not by chance. That is not by chance, but it is by the grace of God. It is by His messes. Let us acknowledge Him this morning. Let us magnify His name. Let us exalt His name. Let us glorify His name. Father, we thank You. Father, we thank You for this day. This is the day You have made. Father, we are glad and we rejoice in it. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, we thank you for gathering us together. Father, to worship you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, we thank you for gathering us together. Father, to lift us up today. Father, to elevate us above our circumstances, above our challenges in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, we give you praise. We give you honor. We give you glory in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Receive Receive all the honor, receive all the glory, receive all the glory. It's all about you, Jesus Christ. It's all about you. It's all about you. It's all about you. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we decrease that you may increase. We disappear that you may appear. Take your rightful place. We invite you in this meeting. Come and have your way. Come and glorify yourself in the mighty name of Jesus. 
Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we have prayed. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we have prayed. Put your hands together for the King of Kings one more time. And this time, put your hands together for yourself because you made it. Amen. Because you made a quality decision today, amen, to come and be in the presence of God. You made a quality decision to come and be lifted, amen, to be elevated and promoted. And that is a quality decision, amen, because that means that you are not comfortable with where you are. That means that you realize that there is another level, there is another realm, there's another dimension that you need to, be, to operate at. Amen. Put your hands together for yourself. You can do better than that. Amen. Praise the Lord. So I'm here. My job this morning is the list. Amen. I'm here to welcome you and to really thank you for making time to join us today, amen. So I welcome you officially to the Women of Divine Connections Conference 2024, amen. And I just want to say briefly that as we have come here to be lifted and to rise, Christ is the center of it all. Jesus Christ is the first and is the end. Amen. We must know his position. If we are going to be elevated, if we are going to arise, we must know his position in our lives. Jesus Christ is clear about his position in our lives. He says, seek ye first the kingdom of God and all the other things will follow. That means that he is clear that he wants to be first in all things. You see, when you make God first, there is nothing that he cannot do for you. Hallelujah. When you make God first, you rise with ease. He fights for you. He defends you. He looks out for you because you have made him first. Hallelujah. Mary Magdalene was such a woman. He followed Jesus Christ everywhere he went. Why? Because he recognized who he was. He recognized that Jesus Christ was first for him, that Jesus Christ was everything for him. Wherever he went ministering, Mary Magdalene was there. When our Lord Jesus Christ was being crucified, she was there. When the Lord Jesus Christ was resurrected, she was there. She was the first person to see our Lord Jesus Christ being resurrected. Why? She had positioned, she knew the position of a master. She knew the position of a king. She knew that her king was first. So as you arise today, I want to encourage you, put Christ first. Put him first in your business. Put him first in your marriage. Put him first in your career. Put him first in your children. Hallelujah. And all the other things shall be perfected as you put him first. Amen. So give him his rightful place and he will elevate you and promote you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. So today I would like we have some marvelous, highly esteemed women in our midst, amen, that are here to impart on us, that are here to inspire us, that are here to equip us, amen, that are here to position us to arise and shine, amen. We have uh, Sister uh, Sima, Sima from Absa Bank, let's put our hands together for her. Hallelujah. She's here to teach us about financial wellness. Amen. As we arise, we need to be uh, mindful of how we manage our finances. Amen. We need financial wisdom. So she's here to educate us and empower us. Amen. We also have Sister Ngobi Lengosi, who is a beauty consultant. Amen. As you arise, it matters. Put your hands together for her. Put your hands together for her. 
As you arise, it matters how you look. Amen. It matters how you carry yourself. It matters how you present yourself. So she's here to help us, to equip us. Amen. As Esther went to the uh, uh, palace, she was trained. Amen. There was protocol for the palace, and she was trained to move to the palace. So she's here. As you take over territories, she's here to equip you and empower you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. And we also have all the way from Zimbabwe, Prophetess Gladys Zulu. You all know her. Put your hands together for her. Hallelujah. We all know she's a very busy woman with a ministry, but because she has this ministry at heart, she saw it fit to come and be with us and impart, amen, and elevate us. You know, prophets are very important, amen. They usher us into divine seasons. They usher us into divine moments. So we have a prophet in the house that will usher us into those places that God has prepared for us, amen. Put your hands together for her in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And we also have all the way from the United States of America, Sister Katia Belloni. Yes, put your hands together for her. Hallelujah. She is a property consultant, property broker. Amen. She is a, a woman who is doing very well in business. Amen. And I had a chat with her yesterday, and already she was downloading some business nuggets onto me. I said, wow, I feel like I'm already in the conference. I can't wait to get more. Amen. She has so much wisdom. God has given her so much wisdom for the marketplace. Amen. How you can take over territories in the marketplace. Amen. So she's here to impart wisdom, international. So we are moving to another. We are international women. Amen. We are global women. All the way from United States. Put your hands together for her. Amen. Praise the Lord. I also would like to acknowledge all the people that are in the fivefold ministry, amen. We have pastors, Mama Julie, and a lot of women of God in our midst. Let's put our hands together for them. We thank you for making time to be with us. May God bless you. And we also have the elderly that came from the Reuven elderly home coming to worship with us today. Let's put our hands together for them. Thank you, Mama Caroline, for making time with all the uh, grannies to come and worship with us. Us. May God bless you and be blessed um, as you worship with us. And finally, I want to welcome you and you and you for making it today. Put your hands together for yourself as we hand over to the choir.